Folks, we have got the PS5 in the studio today and I'm really curious, how dirty do these things get inside after just six months of usage? So my good buddy is out of town and he was cool enough to let me borrow his PS5 to check out because I'm big into PC gaming. It's been a while since I've done some console gaming and I figure, hey, let's check it out. Now, what he didn't know is that I'd be taking this here, opening it up, and seeing just how dirty it was inside because I want to clean it for him because I'm a nice guy. Now I did ask him when the last time he cleaned this was and he had no clue that cleaning a PlayStation 5 was even a thing. Uh, didn't know how you would even go about opening this thing. So that's what I'm going to show you today, how to properly open the PS5 because there are so many videos showing you how to do it wrong. People are prying this thing open. It's very easy to do and cleaning does not require a lot. All you need, really, if anything, if just one thing, one of these, just a little can of air spray, a little duster, uh, these are just great to have on hand. They're very inexpensive. I'll link to them down below. Another thing I really like to have uh, it's optional, but I love these microfiber towels. Again, super cheap, way better than something like a paper towel or a washcloth because those, especially paper towels, you'll wipe around and it's leaving behind those little tiny pieces of lint. And oh, that's, that's annoying. We want a nice shine on this thing. So with that said, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move you up here and then we're going to open this baby up and see what is inside. All right, so before we pop this open, I do want to just look on the uh, outside here and just kind of see what we're looking at. Nothing too bad in the front, you know, a little bit of scratching, uh, you know, light dusting. Okay, we're giving this baby a little TLC. Now let's look at this backside. This side, whoa, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Look at that. There is a bug that has fallen out already. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on, man. I'm worried now what's inside this thing. So let's look at the vents. Definitely some dust collecting, nothing too serious. Again, it's only been six months, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our trusty little spray can here and just kind of spray this out. Oh crap, we are running out of air already. So I forgot to mention, this is my last can of air and it's one in the morning. So we got to make this thing work. Oh boy, I think we're out. I think we're out. I mean, this is looking pretty good already. Much better there, much better. All right, so without me touching that nasty bug, let me show you how to open this. Just always remember the PlayStation logo. That's where you're going to start. The only thing you've got to pull is you're just going to pull this up just a titch. Okay, let me kind of show you right there. You're just kind of lifting it up just a little bit. And then you're gonna have your hand down here and you're kind of thumb on top and you're gonna be pulling down. So you're just gonna pull this tab up and down. So watch, I pull up a little bit, I shift down, it's already off. That easy, okay? So uh, we've got a little bit of uh, dusting. It might be hard to see on that camera there. Again, not too bad. It's been six months. Uh, but there's definitely a little bit of dust inside of the fan. In fact, it's uh, kind of disturbing what I'm seeing in there. So let's hope we have enough air to get this crap out of here. We are out. Okay, this is gonna be the most unsatisfying video in the world, but hey, you came here to see just how dirty this thing was. If you were to clean this, obviously you could just grab this and just kind of blow in there and that's gonna get that fan spinning and just get all that dust and crap out of here. We'll wipe this down. And obviously I'll get a new thing of uh, air and fix that. But let's show you how to open the other side. So this model right here is the one with the actual CD um, drive right there. And the same side that the PS4, uh, sorry, PS5 logo is on, you're gonna do the same exact thing. You're just gonna pull just a little bit up here and then tug. This one might require just a little bit more effort, but the effort is all going that way. As long as you're just lifting that tab up enough, enough for these two pieces to just kind of come out of their spots, you're golden. So on this side, this is actually where you would upgrade the um, hard drive, as well, sorry, storage. Uh, you would just go ahead and unscrew that and you can throw in uh, an M.2 drive there for more space. And then we've got the fan. This side actually is not too bad at all. Uh, there's, you know, there's some hair that's gotten in here. Everything else is actually looking pretty good. Well, folks, there we have it. Uh, that's what a PS5 
looks like after six months of use. Not too bad, especially if you're opening this thing up every six months and just giving it a quick dust. Um, it won't ever look bad. And putting it on is the, basically it's the same thing, but in reverse. So you just kind of want to start down here. You're going to slide up and just, you'll kind of hear a light clicking. Um, it already clicked in there. And then we're just going to do the same with the, uh, with the PlayStation side here. But uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm impressed. It's, it's not as bad as I, as I thought it would be. That's, that's very good, especially considering this uh, sits down on the carpet. I recommend not putting your PlayStation down on the carpet on the floor just because that is where things ca can sometimes overheat or collect more dust. If it's on a hard surface or up on a desk, that is the most ideal place. Now I am curious, how many of you actually own a PS5? Let me know, let me know down in the comments if you own one or if you plan on owning one, or maybe you are just someone who's perfectly content with PC gaming and I wouldn't blame you. And if you are into PC gaming and you're looking for some great deals, whether it's building your first gaming PC or you just wanna buy one or you're upgrading, techaudit.tv, go there. We are posting the hottest deals every single day to that site, you don't wanna miss it. In terms of more videos on this, we've got some bangers coming your way. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We've got a monitor guide specifically for the PS5. It is a little bit different than purchasing for a gaming PC. So if you have not already seen it, we have posted a wonderful guide right over here. Check it out. It is the complete ultimate beginner's guide to buying your first gaming monitor. And by the way, Jacob, come pick up your bug.